We're hearing from a South Carolina 10 year old student who was on that bus yesterday when it was hijacked at gunpoint by an army trainee. Take a look at this surveillance video. So this happened near Fort Jackson in Columbia. An army trainee got on the school bus with a rifle and held the children and the driver hostage. For more on the harrowing experience, here's Eleanor Tabone. It is the moment 10 year old Keandre James will never forget. I heard yelling and cussing at the front of the bus and it was um, this man, he was he had an, a gun and he was pointing at a bus driver telling him close the doors, go, go, take me to the next town, hurry up. The moment 23 year old Jovan Colazzo hijacked his school bus. I called my mom and told her that we would be there. Everybody was on that bus was being held hostage. The sheriff's department say after six minutes, kids began coming to the front of the bus and started asking Colazzo questions. He was saying the F word. He was saying, close the doors, go, go, take me to the next town. What the 10 year old did next will astound many. He told us to get out, but before he told us to get out, he told everybody to move up to the front, but I was still talking to my mom and my dad, so I put my phone on silent and I put it in my pants and pulled my jacket over it so that he wouldn't see. Like, this is the last thing I ever would have thought would have happened. Like, it, it was very scary, very terrifying. His mom, Carolina Ezenwine, says it's the phone call a parent never expects. He told my husband, he was like, we're hostages. And he was like, what? He was like, a man got on the bus with an assault rifle and was pointing it at the bus driver. So the first thing he told Keandre was, get down, get down, get down. She says she and her husband jumped in their car to try and find Keandre. Everything just went through my mind and I just started freaking out. We were driving everywhere looking like me maniacs like just trying to find that bus just trying to find my son I really panicked when he wasn't answering my phone calls or my texts anymore when she finally got in touch with her son I got on the phone with Keandre Keandre was like um he made everybody get off of the bus and I was like where are you he's like we're down the road by this store and then that's where we saw all the kids on the side of the road with the police officers relief sitting I always make sure he has his phone I make sure he charges his phone at night before he goes to bed and I am so proud of him so proud of him we have been calling him a hero all day as for this courageous young man his only concern was for those younger than him riding that bus too. We still are kids, but they was young, young, but they was supposed to witness that. I'm going to let him ride the bus tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Like as a parent, I cannot imagine, but you just said case for a 10 year old to have a cell phone. Case for a 10 year old to have a, ten, uh, to have a, a cell phone. Absolutely.